What is up guys? In today's video we're going to be playing Fortnite GeoGuessr. So if you guys are unaware of what GeoGuessr is, it's a game where you get shown a picture of something on the real life like Earth and then you have to figure out where that is. But in Fortnite version we're going to be shown a piece of the Fortnite map and we're going to have to guess where it is and we're going to be playing through all of chapter 1 today. So season 1 to season X. Season 1 is going to be pretty hard because the map was really barren. At the time there wasn't many landmarks on the map. And it was just mostly bare, as you'll see. Uh, I'll put a pic, like, you see on its screen now. Like, it's just, there's not much going on here. Uh, they added a bunch in Season 2. This is somewhere on the edge of the map. And... Alright, this is, like, a hard one for the first game. Uh, this sucks. I, I don't know where this is. This is, this is Wailing Woods, I think. I, I think we're, like, somewhere... Is there any hills by us? I guess there's that hill there. Maybe we're like right here? We were close. We were six meters away on one of the harder spots, I, I feel like. So that's good. But yeah, that's what GeoGuessr is. That's what we're going to be playing today. If you guys do enjoy the video, remember to give a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Comment down below what you think of this and if you would like to see more videos like this one. I, I think this game is incredibly fun, but I am like very nostalgic about the old Fortnite map. And I'm sure many of you who played back then are as well. Um, so this is Architect's House. I think this is like right here. Yep, perfect. I'm sure many of you who played back in the older seasons will be very nostalgic about this. And even if you didn't play back then, it um, could be pretty interesting to see like how the map has progressed over time. This is another very hard one. Um, we're just like in the middle of nowhere. Like I was saying before, the, the, the season one map was so bare that it's just like hard to know. Like we're on the edge of the map somewhere. There's mountains. I, I want to say this is like somewhere, I'm just going to guess over here, but I really don't know. Eh, let's just guess right there. Yeah, we were close. Okay. I thought that mountain kind of looked like the one that I was looking at, but it's hard. Oh, this is so, this is crazy. <clears throat> and even though like the season one map was so bare, oh, like there was a few buildings like this, but this building was in a few different spots. So I know for a fact, this building was right here. But I don't think that's the one that we're on because I don't see the lake. This seems more like this is Wailing Woods over there. Um, the like forested area. But yeah, they just like reused a lot of the same houses over and over again. So it could be tough to know where we are. But like a lot of trees is typically Wailing Woods. I just don't remember where they had this busted ass house at. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, we were so off. That was rough. Um, I think this is what became shifty. I'm not sure though, because those trees are sketching me out. Okay, so we're in the swamp biome somewhere because of these trees here. But once again, like I was saying before, the houses are just copy and pasted all over the place, so it's like hard to know. We're not near prison. I don't I don't see prison anywhere. This is just going to have to be another guess, I think. Because I, I didn't land over here very much. I would go moisty sometimes, but I would land, like, right there. Maybe right here? This looks like it's a house or something. Oh, no, we were so off. What? That's crazy. I actually used to land at these houses. It just looked like the swamp trees for some reason to me. Um... I'm thinking this is Flush Factory, but I could be wrong. Once again, another place that I didn't go to. And we have like a bad angle. So I, I think the Flush Factory sign is like just on the other side of this building. That's what it's seeming like at least. Um, so we'll just guess Flush Factory. I think it's like right here. Perfect. Zero meters away. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're on the edge of the map. We have a shack. There's a few mountains. I think that's Architect's house right there. Yeah, because there was an ice cream truck and then there was Architect's house. So we're like... That ice cream truck is on this hill, I think. I think we're right here. Perfect. Um, This is one of the farms. It could be hard to tell them apart because Anarchy and Fatal were so similar. I think this is Anarchy, though. 
Because that looks like it's the edge of the map there. So I think we're like right here. One meter away. Perfect. These, this is two houses again. Once again in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I think we're near Architect's house again. I think that's the, the same ice cream truck. That's what I'm guessing, at least. I, I think we're, like, right here. Perfect. You guys could tell I played way too much of Fortnite, because even with a lot of these landmarks being so, like, minuscule, I could still, like, usually tell where we are really quick. Okay, so let's go into Season 2. Season 2 is where it gets a little bit easier. Because they added so much more to the map. See, like, this is Flush Factory. I could just tell immediately. I knew it was Flush Factory when we were here before, too. It's just, like, a hard angle. But Season 2, they ended up adding more to the map. This is fatal. Um, they added, like, Tilted, Shifty. And they just developed a lot of these areas more. And that made it so much easier. That makes, like, something like this so much easier. Because really what you're going off is what you see. And, like, surrounding clues. Surrounding landmarks. Um, this is like the same spot we had before. I think it's like right here. Oh, we're a little wrong side, but close. But yeah, there's like, there's way more descriptive landmarks. Dude, this is where I used to land in Moisty. This, this tree had like three chests, and these swamp trees gave so much mats. Um, but what I was saying is like, I think it's right here. Oh no, okay. But uh, like developing the map and adding more to it makes it so much easier to tell like before okay now we know this is haunted hills i know exactly where this is but before the season two update there was just nothing here like this we would have just been on the edge of the map <clears throat> so that is it's like crazy to see just how the map has changed over time and how the map has developed i do not know where this is okay we're near retail i'm pretty yeah this is retail I don't, I don't think we're at this though. Maybe we are? Okay, yeah, we were. That's weird. I thought that was like a gas station for some reason. I mean, I guess we were at a gas station. It just kind of looked like a house too. This is near Dusty. We're like over here. No, we were a little far off, but yeah, I was in the right direction. This, okay, once again, the farms can be hard to tell. Like basically you have to just find something I think, I think we're at Fatal because I think that's Salty. I think that's the tower above Salty Springs. Like, right here is that tower, I think, that I'm looking at. So, I, I think we're, like, right here? Yep, perfect. And now we are in Salty Springs. One of my favorite POIs. I would love for this place to return. And they did have it for a little bit in Chapter 2, but they ended up getting rid of it. Once again, I think this is fatal. Yep, see, there's that tower at Salty again. These, uh, these farms were so similar, but... You just gotta look for a few different things. To distinguish between Salty and Fatal. Now we're into Season 3. There wasn't much differences between Season 2 and 3. We actually immediately got the one difference, and that was Lucky Landing. So season three is a nice season, but I feel like by today's standards, people would be upset with like how little content came to the game this season. Um, it like actually wasn't very much. It was mainly just lucky landing. There was obviously weapons and stuff, but in terms of map changes, there wasn't really anything until like the towards the end of the season. And I feel like, why are we taking forever to load? This is, this is moisty. I just, I'm, I have a hard time telling which part of moisty is which. Okay, we were close. But I can tell you if it's moisty. What I was saying is, like, uh, I, I feel like a lot of people today, myself included, kind of categorize the map, the map, or, like, how good a season is based on the map changes. I'm pretty sure this is, like, a random house. This is, like, right here, I think, in between Salty and Retail. See, there we go. I have played this map so much that just seeing random houses, I can usually tell what it is. This is prison. Um, this is right here, I bet. Oh, my gosh. We saw the side of a brick wall, and I knew where we were. Like, that is just a, like, clear indication that I have spent way too much time playing this game. This is right here. This is like in between. Yeah, that's right here. Or that's the building. So we're like over here, I think. Yep. Oh, we're a little off, but yeah. 
But yeah, I could just see random like textures and know where we are in the Fortnite map. It's honestly embarrassing. Um, shoot. This one, I don't know where we are. So this is a mountain. I think this is what became Viking Mountain eventually. Is, can we see Greasy from here? This is hard. I think we're over here. I, I think we're like... Oh, I can't see Snobby Shores either. But like, it's honestly possible that Snobby is just on the other side of this hill and we can't tell. It's also possible that we're right here. What? We were on the front side of Greasy? That's weird. I did not expect that. Like, some of the more deserted areas can be hard to tell. Especially because they use a lot of the same textures over and over again. This is a very hard one. Holy. This is like Fortnite GeoGuest are on impossible mode. We're like in a crevice somewhere. I don't see anything. I, I see like part of this house. This little hut here. But that exists so many spots on the map. Um, So we're between one mountain. I, I'm just going to go like... Over here again. Oh, we were so far off. Yeah, that, that's one that's just so hard to tell. I couldn't see anything where I was. Gas station outside Lucky Landing. That indicates Lucky. I think that little statue part is like right here. So now we're looking for a gas station. We're like right here, I guess. Or I can't tell. I think we're right there. Yep, perfect. This is the racetrack. This is like outside retail row. Yeah, this is over here. Um, I'm thinking we're like right here, like four meters away. Pretty good. Nice. But yeah, as you saw, like, I, I don't, I mean, I guess you couldn't really tell, but like a lot of season two and season three, the map was similar. Season four is where it really started getting different. Season four is when they stopped up, like kind of stepped up how much effort they put into map changes. It seemed like this is drunk junction. Um, we're like right here, I think. Or is it mini junk? No, we're on, we're, I think we're right there. Yep, three meters away. But season four is where they really started to step up the map changes with... Here we go. This is one of them. The This is the villain layer that was on the side of a mountain over here overlooking Snobby Shores. So we're like right there. But they had Dusty Divot added. They added a mansion over here for the hero mansion. They added the villain layer. And like that's not the most map changes ever. But it's like more than we had been used to. So it was a big deal at the time. This is... I'm pretty sure this is the platform above Salty Springs. We're like right here, I think. Yep, two meters away. This is Lucky Landing. This is like the outskirts of Lucky Landing, though. There's like a little small temple, like right here, yeah. Perfect. I'm not trying to get this like as perfect as possible, just kind of more like general. Like the fact that it's like a few meters off, I'm not too concerned with. This is... uh outside shifty shafts so if you guys are familiar with shifty shafts in chapter three there's like a mountain on top of it before we just had the mine shaft portion of shifty that that's there and then there was these two houses and that was it so there was no like mountain like how there is today like if you watch my like streams and videos that mountain i landed at in shifty just didn't exist where are we now this is paradise or not paradise sorry pleasant we are at the like time like we're like right here i think Yep. Just outside the gas station. This is Divot. My homeland. Dusty Divot is like my favorite POI ever. Not so much this version of it. This POI changed a lot from week to week over the course of the season. So it started out as like the freshly meteor hit area like that. Or here's another angle of it. I think we're like right here. Yep. Um, But it started out all barren like that. And then eventually it became abandoned and like trees grew around it. I think we're like right here. That is gross. <laughs> I see a sliver of Loot Lake and I know which side we're on. Um, this is outside Lucky Landing. I just don't know where. I, I think we're in between Lucky and Fatal. I think this is Fatal. We're like right here. Eh, close enough. And then Season 5 is also where they made a lot of map changes. This is when they added the Desert Biome. So this is like pretty significantly different from what it had before. As far as like the bottom right corner. We're outside Wailing Woods. This is Wailing Woods right here. 
So we are like, I think we're like right here. Oof, I was kind of far, but like right idea. Oh, this is like the racetrack. So we just had the racetrack a few goes ago. And then in season five, when the desert came in, they changed it. I think we're like right here. I didn't go there very much at all, but I can like tell you where it was on the map. Oof. Okay. Outside snobby. That was sketchy for a second though. I was not sure. That's Viking Mountain. So we're like right here. Yep. Um... Oh no, this is one of my favorite POIs. This is Yonder Yard. It was like an unnamed spot down here, but it was so good. There was so many pallets out here. I think we're like just right here. Perfect. I landed there a lot. Like any, like I may have landed there for more wins than any other POI in like my entire time playing Fortnite. Um, shoot, where is this? This is a bridge outside the desert. I think it's like right here. Yeah, there's a broken bridge in between the desert and the normal like grassy biome. Once again in the desert. I'm happy it gave us a lot of desert ones. This is Paradise Palms. This is, once again, one of my favorite POIs. I got so excited seeing the desert in Chapter 3, thinking that Paradise was kind of come back, and then it just didn't. So sad. Um, I, I really liked Paradise Palms, and it's one of like the better POIs ever made, I think, personally. And I feel like that's part of why I don't really like go Condo Canyon, or I don't really like Condo Canyon at all, because I kind of like compare it to, to Paradise in my mind. This is Right here, I think. This is like... Shoot. Oh, also with this update, they added the golf cart. Or golf course and golf cart. I think we're... I think we're like right here. That is gross, dude. <laughs> I can see three roads intersecting and know where it is on the Fortnite map. This is like the other side of that bridge. This is right here, I think. Yep. One more on Season 5. Where are we? I think we're... Shoot. I, I think we're, like, in between retail and salty, but I could be wrong. Or wait, I think we're, we might actually be, like, right here. Yep, I was close. A little off, but like I said, I'm just trying to kind of ballpark it so we can run through this fast. Because this is already a long recording. This is salty. I might cut out some of the easier ones where I just, like, immediately know where it is. Or maybe we can do... This is desert. This is, like... Oh, shoot. Oh, pretty easy. The water in the desert. Yep. I was confused there for a second. Dude, why do we keep getting this bridge? We're like right here, I think. Yep. Um. Oh, racetrack. Okay, I was confused for a second. I think we're like on the back side of this building, maybe like right there. Close. Snobby Shores. We're like on this side this time, I think. Yep. Poker chips. That was the name of this mountain here. And as you can see, this is what I was talking about before. Dusty Divot is like fully overgrown now. Um, and this is the version of it I liked. It was like an abandoned military base over there and like all the trees like overgrew and overtook it. This is mini junk in the desert. So there's junk junction top corner, but there's also mini junk over here. But I think we're like right there maybe. I think five meters away, close. What is this? I'm guessing this is like down here somewhere i never really went flash factory at all okay yeah if i if if something looks like industrious and i've never been there i just assume it's flash factory because i legit do not know if i ever landed that that poi ever in my life this is desert in between desert and grass i think we're at that same bridge again dude why do we keep getting this bridge we've gotten like this bridge at every angle imaginable across like a year and a half of fortnite all right, so now we're into season seven. This is another season where they made huge changes with the snow biome. We're just going to go five rounds for this to kind of speed run through the final few seasons. Um, this is... Hmm. This is Lonely Lodge. I was going to say Weeping, but I think it's like right there. Oh, no, it was Weeping. Okay. We were off. No, gross, dude. I hated this. 
I was not a fan of the snow whatsoever. This is a bridge. In between the two bottoms, I think it's this one. Okay, yeah, but I was not a fan of the snow changes at all. Like, I had said Yonder Yard was one of my favorite places. Um, and then this kind of ruined it. So this is outside the Hero Mansion, I think. This was, like, a challenge at the time where you had to play a song on this piano. So you guys think the challenges are weird now? You would have to have, like, seen this music notes and then, like, recreated that on the piano. I think we're, like, right here. Yeah, look, the piano is right there. See, okay, this is perfect. I was saying I love this place. I love Yarnier. Yard. This is what they did to it, bro. They just destroyed it. And then same with Greasy Grove. They just replaced Greasy Grove with a frozen lake. There was no loot there anymore. You could, like, hear the chest and look at the buildings under the lake, but you just couldn't do anything. And for the longest, people thought Greasy was going to melt, but it never did. And they added this happy Hamlet town, which was pretty cool, but it was so far on the edge of the map that it was just, like, not enjoyable. Yo, this place was goaded for brick. This is the umbrella outside Lazy. <clears throat> this place was so good for brick. One of the ways that the game has gotten so much better in Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 is material harvesting. And, like, back in the Chapter 1, it was so hard to get brick. Like, anything, like, metal you could get from the cars, but, like, any map type other than wood was, like, kind of a pain to get. And that was one of the few spots on the map where you could just go there and get max brick. I'm pretty sure it's outside Dusty. Yeah. I think, like, that's Dusty. I think that's poker chips, and then we're, like, right here. Okay, I was close. This is, this is a place I didn't go to very much. This is a jungle biome. I think we're, like, up here. I think we're, like... I don't know if we're, like, that far on the edge, though. I never really, like I said, I never really went here. I think we're, like, over there. That was 8 meters off. That's pretty good for a place I never really went to. Sunny Steps. This place is really cool. They actually have this on the Chapter 3 map, like, a smaller version of it. And it's in the same place. So they added the volcano in Season 8, which is, like, the same volcano we have now, basically. Um, But it, it was just kind of different. This is Shifty. See, this is like the same thing that we have now this truck and then there's like the railroad track above you and then like the the center part is over there and then like shifty mountain that we have today would be like on the other side of this so we're like right uh here where the heck are we okay so we have a sunny step temple i think we're like on the outskirts of sunny steps maybe like Ooh, this is a hard one. I think maybe we're right here. Perfect. That was close. Dang, we're getting so many of these spots that I didn't go to. And then one of the things they changed this season was they made the volcano into pressure plant, which um, was like kind of like the volcano, but you could get like lifted from it. So you kind of know how the rock statue is today. How it like lifts you up and you can fly. They had that just like in the entire like volcano area. Which is pretty cool. Loot Lake completely changed the season 9. Tilted became Neo Tilted. Um, oof, this is a hard one. Actually, no, it's not. This is Lonely Lodge, I think. I think we're, like, right here. Close. That's another spot I didn't go to very much. So, like, getting the finer details of it, I'm kind of bad at. Ooh, I do not know where this is. <clears throat> I think that's Viking Mountain. Which was right here. I think this was Crackshot's cabin, but I don't, like, I never really went there on the Chapter 1 map. I want to say we're, like, right here. Because I think that, okay, I was so close. I just saw the front of the, the pirate ship. Or the Viking ship, whatever, at Viking Mountain. Okay, so now we're into Season X. This is the worst map ever made. We had all these rift zones that, like, transformed the POIs and gave them weird effects that were not enjoyable at all. This is Lonely Lodge, I think, on the outskirts towards this way. That was close. But, yeah, we had a bunch of, like, weird rift zone effects. So, like, Greasy Grove had taco time where you'd randomly start dancing. Paradise Palms became Moisty Palms and had Prop Hunt, where if you ever crouched, you turned into a prop. And so whenever you fought someone, they would just turn into a prop and run away. But you also see, look, Moisty Palms. We got Swamp Trees in Paradise. I think we're, like, I think we're right here. Yep, but like they just had a bunch of weird effects. Some of them, like this is the same spot we just had, bro. What the heck? 
But uh, some of them were good, some of them were bad, some of them were annoying. This is Lazy Lagoon. This is what they added inside of the volcano. We're like right here. W. So that is going to be it for Fortnite GeoGuessr. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this. Uh, personally, I saw a video of this and I thought it was really cool. I, I think this is awesome just to like look back and play and see what the old map is. Let me know if you would like to see more content like this because I could definitely make more videos like this in the future. Or even challenge my friends to see like which of us remember the OG map more. But uh, let me know if you enjoyed it. Give it a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.